News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, let's talk about the beautiful evening, okay? So we'll start out with that. Uh, temperatures are already starting to drop. We had a high today of 85 in Boise, Ontario had 87, but you see those temperatures come down about two or three degrees. It's kind of typical because we're starting to get an earlier sunset. Also typical because we're moving more into the month of September and everything is indicating to us that, or to myself, that we're going to be looking at temperatures that are going to be going down just a little bit, even more toward the end of next week, kind of moving into this fall pattern. If you look at the highs for the past two weeks, this is back in August uh, when it was hot. And then as we got toward the end of August, the temperatures did kind of take a dip. We had some 70s in there as well as some 80s and even the low to mid 80s for today. So the temperatures have come come down for about the last 10 days. This is what we expect for the next 10 days. OK, here's a look at some of the highs. We still have the heat with us through Tuesday and then it kind of moderates a little bit more into the mid 80s and then a possibility for the following Monday. That's the week after next week where the temperature drops down to about 81 for the high. Uh, when you think about some of the morning lows, you know, the mornings are not too bad. We're going to be seeing some upper 50s right around 60 degrees. Just uh, pleasant temperatures for lows, and that even continues throughout next week and into the first part of the following week. So looking good. Now, right now we have some high clouds that are around the area. Wondering, is that going to have any kind of an effect on the weekend? According to the Futurecast, as we move through this, it really doesn't. In fact, by the time you get up tomorrow morning, you're back to all this sunshine. What moisture that's left is basically in the Central Mountains. Then as you get into Sunday, there might be just a little bit down here toward Twin Falls. Some area in the Magic Valley could see a light shower, an isolated thunderstorm, but nothing really big. And that's as we get to uh, 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. So temperatures all around the valley will basically be uh, into the mid 80s as we start out with the Magic Valley. And most of the Central Mountains could be uh, camping or anything up through there. Just keep in mind cold mornings with temperatures down into the 40s. Daytime highs basically into the mid 70s. As you move over here, Long Valley highs pretty close to 80 degrees. You see some of those chilly mornings. Temperatures at night dropping into the 40s for some of those early mornings. Now here in the valley, 90 degrees for tomorrow. What's uh, pleasurable about this is the fact that the low temperatures are going to be down into the 90 or excuse me, highs around 90, low temperatures in the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. So we get that nice cool start stays that way you know, until about 11 o'clock or so. So it's fairly nice there. Seven day forecast. Well, we're up around 90. We've even uh, see a 91 or so. So this weekend is probably probably the last weekend where we really hit that heat. Uh, as we look at Monday and Tuesday, you can see we're still up there. But then the temperatures come down into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And you remember or recall as we went back to that 10 day temperature outlook that as we get on into the first part of the week after this week that is getting into next week and toward the end, some of the high temperatures could be dropping down to about a lower 80s or so. So that's kind of the thing that we're looking at, changing colors in the trees, looking more toward a fall forecast and some beautiful weather coming up. Beautiful time of year for Boise. Have a great weekend. We're going to be back with more news in just a moment.